So, uh, stating the obvious, why do we not want war between Iran and the United States of America? Well, I mean, it's just the loss of life. The loss of life, not just in Iran. Uh, what are you going to have? Some counterattack against Israel? Do you think the Israeli generals want this? Do you think the American generals want this? Of course they don't. Um, no. The, it's, it's not appropriate. It's not helpful. We do not want war. And the consequences in the short term could be catastrophic for Israel, for Lebanon, for Iran. Um, no, we don't want to see any further fighting in the Middle East. We have had enough of all of this. Um, and uh, the long-term destabilization of the region, if we saw war with Iran, would be very, very worrying. I mean, at the moment you have a kind of sex pico line between between the uh, great tribal groups of the southern and western Arabia and across to, you know, I mean, so, so it runs through, through Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, uh, down to the Gulf and clips into Bahrain. And this, this line, this front line uh, between this power block, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Egypt, this power block, on the one side and the other power block on the other side this russia iranian influenced groups um the iraqis the syrians uh, you know this this well turkey where's turkey she falls into the iranian camp or she straddles a bit of both camps really but um turkey plays her own games but basically you have uh, two sets Two, two sets of power that hold each other in check and there is some check and balance and we do not see um, a, we are not likely to see a rise of another Al-Qaeda or Islamic State type group in the Middle East because Iran holds, holds that back. Iran and her allies, Iran and Russia, they, they are strong in holding that down um, which is hugely important. So you don't want to destabilize that whole balance of power. If you did, then where is the battleground going to be? You know it's now Iraq. Syria, we've moved on from Syria. It would be Iraq. Um, <laughs> Shiites, of course, always regard Iraq as, as the killing fields. Um, they look at it and they think that's where Hussein died and Ali, you know, I mean, the, um, the great battles. Um, Iraq is, is, is soaked with the blood of, of the martyrs and um, there's a certain fatalism about it but there is this Iraq is the great place for confrontation between Sunni and Shiite and Iraq would be despoiled by a war between America and Iran be very 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 destructive to the stability of the region. So we don't need it. Um, of course we don't need it. And so the question becomes, will it happen? So let's deal with the will we see war issue next.